Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good day and welcome back. Thanks for staying with me while I took a little break, but I had to get my next guest. My next guest is Dr. Jennifer Cuddle. She's here to talk about the latest data on sore throat, self-care, and she even has some remedies. Dr. Cuddle, welcome to the Valder BB Show. Thanks so much for having me. You know, the weather is changing, and so we're talking about a little bit of cough, a little sore throat. We hope that's all that we get. Tell me the impact of underestimating getting a sore throat, because most of us just power through it. That's that's right. Actually, you're you're kind of spot on with that. Um, and you're also right that the cough and cold season is upon us as the weather is getting colder. Um, you know, a lot of times with those uh, symptoms of, of cough and cold, rather those those infections, we get cough, body aches, a fever, etc. But a recent uh, survey done by Mucinex showed that sore throat pain, interestingly enough, is one of the top three most debilitating symptoms people experience alongside fever and migraine. And to your point, uh, 55 percent of people are most likely or more likely to power through a sore throat rather than sort of resting and taking some time. So they're going to try to get those tasks done and, and do all sorts of things. So really the name of the game here is trying to give people relief. And, and that's what's really important. In the survey, they also responded to other parts of uh, the body having a challenge, headaches, migraines. Tell me about that. Yeah. Well, you know, when we have cough and cold symptoms, and I can tell you this as a family doctor, uh, there's a number of symptoms that we can get. Uh, it can range from body aches to feeling fatigued, fever, um, headache, uh, muscle pain, all that kind of stuff, as well as sore throat, which we're talking about. So everyone's going to experience different symptoms when it comes to their cough and cold symptoms. But those in general are common among many people. Also, too, people said, you know, if they had an event plan, the sore throat played a real important part in whether they would attend that event or not. Tell me about that. Well, that's right. And you, you sort of think about it for those um, of us who do a lot of talking uh, for you know each day or what have you, or uh, even if you don't do a lot of talking, having a sore throat can be pretty tough and inconvenient and uncomfortable, regardless of what that sore throat is due to, whether it's a cold or flu, et cetera. Um, and so the good thing is that there's a lot of great over-the-counter options to help with that, in addition to, of course, calling your doctor and running your symptoms by them. But um, you know, Mucinex is the number one doctor trusted over-the-counter cough and cold brand. And one great thing about what they're doing is they recently introduced the uh, Mucinex InstaSoothe, which is a new product line of lozenges uh, and sprays that really helps numb and soothe the throat should we get sore throat pain with uh, cough and cold season. So that's one of the things we want to make sure is that we're not only talking to our doctor, but that we're using over-the-counter medications to help our symptoms when we can. Doctor, and this is off script, but as we go into the fall, they say that we would see uh, the variant uh, of COVID-19 take hold more also too. So how do we tell we just got a sore throat or if something else is going on? Uh, now that's an excellent question. And you're, you're spot on with that is how do we know what our sore throat is due to? Um, because honestly, sore throat doesn't have to be infectious. It doesn't have to be a cold or a cough or even COVID. It could be allergies. It could be something else. I think the best thing here is to call your doctor so that we can try to help walk you through that because as you mentioned, sore throat could be a symptom of many different things and it can be hard to tell which it is exactly. So that's where you wanna get us involved, especially to help us sort of run through what you need to do, if you need any testing, uh, what medications and things like that you should take. And finally, are there any preventive measures that we can protect ourselves against getting in sore throat? Yeah, well, you know, I say the preventive measures that help us from getting sore throat are also the same as what helps us keep 
try to ward off colds and flus as we get into the season and uh, and just sort of helps keep us in tip top shape in general. And that is number one, reducing stress. We're coming into holiday season. This is a stressful time. Reducing stress is going to be very important. It's also helpful for our body. Uh, I would also say making sure that we're sleeping enough. You know, you can't underestimate the importance of getting enough rest. We need to fuel our body with the important nutrients and, and the appropriate nutrients. So eating a well-balanced, healthy diet. And of course, things like exercise is really important as well. All right. You gave us some recommendations. Where can we go and find and find out more information about maybe Mucinex or how to deal with this sore throat? Sure. Uh, you can go to mucinex.com. Thank you so much, Dr. Jennifer Cuddles. I really appreciate you and I hope you have a healthy and a prosperous winter. Thank you. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.